Hello Aquarius. Welcome to your mid-month reading for April. This is a general reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, so take it as it resonates. I have already cleared space, cleared cards, shuffled and infused with Reiki. And we're ready to start. I'm starting with the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. And then I will lay down the Chrysalis Tarot and clarify with Classic Tarot. And at the end of the reading, I will pull another Oracle card and a rune. Let's see what Spirit has for Aquarius for mid-April, please. Halls of Learning, Spirit Guides, Confirmation, Great Lessons. And I'm going to read a portion of that. Halls of Learning. Halls of Learning. Your message. You are on the path to great learning. Spiritual beings are drawing close to support you. If you are facing challenging or difficult circumstances or have just moved through such a time, you are being called to review what you have learned about yourself. If you are still feeling overwhelmed by a certain event or asking why it happened, call on Source and your guides to reveal to you the pattern, trauma, or wound that has contributed to this challenge. If you aren't experiencing challenging energy, the reason is that you've made huge progress on your spiritual journey, so much so that your perceptive, your perspective, sorry, has shifted so that you can view every challenge as a window of opportunity. The halls of learning gateway indicates that your spiritual gifts are developing at this time. Okay, let's lay down our chair. We have the Eight of Scrolls. Um, she is tapping into her intuition. Um, this card to me, she looks kind of like a gypsy with her crystal ball. Looking into um, to find the information that she needs. Tapping into her inner vision and intuition. We have the Ten of Mirrors. Ten of Mirrors. A very fulfilling um, card. Inner fulfillment. The Nine of Spirals. Hmm. Interesting. Keep going. Despite the wind, allow the wind lift you as the bird uses the wind to lift, to fly. Use it to gain momentum. Use the movement to gain momentum. Hmm. So whatever this wind is that's coming in, maybe this is gaining a second wind. 
The Nine of Spirals is usually one of where you're tired, exhausted. Maybe this is a card of gaining your second wind. Because you're almost there. Use your circumstances, whatever you can around you. To um, keep you moving forward. The Four of Scrolls, a time out, a time of rest. Hmm. Taking that rest when you need it, gaining understanding, perspective. The Knight of Spirals. Passion, desire. Follow your passions, desires. Perhaps you need to take action on your passions, your desires. Perhaps there's an offer coming in that is passionate. Let's keep going here. The Wheel of Fortune. Allow things to flow naturally. are happening. Allow for that flow. The Six of Stones. Balance. The Queen of Scrolls, Clarity, Wisdom, Confidence, and finally, the King of Spirals. He is a passionate king. He follows his dreams. At the bottom of the deck, we have the divine child, the hierophant. Spiritual insight, guidance. Um, okay, let's... Um, Clarify the state of schools, please. Our guidance got to go. Let's clarify the eight of schools, please. Oops. Dropping out at me already. We have the four of cups. Appreciate what you have. Don't miss an opportunity because you've become bored and fallen asleep. Stay awake, stay aware of your circumstances, of the opportunities being presented to you. This is a blessed opportunity. See the dove in the cup. Whatever it is, be aware of the opportunity. Three of Pentacles. Oh, look at that. Perhaps uh, an offer. Maybe this opportunity is an offer to work as part of a team. Someone's looking to hire you for your skills, your knowledge, your wisdom, your talents. Using that. Together 
to build something, to create something. And the wheel of fortune, again, <laughs> allow for that flow. So this is a um, card of destiny. Allow flow, allow things to naturally fall into place and lead you to your destiny, to where you're meant to be. We have this Ten of Mirrors. Now the mirrors are um, the equivalent to cups. See, this is a very fulfilling card, inner fulfilling. Accepting yourself for who you are, too, with all those mirrors. Um, let's clarify. Holding your ground. What fulfills you? Hold your ground. Don't accept less. Weigh your options. Two of Cups. This is a some partnership. A divine partnership, blessed partnership, and coming together. Um, perhaps this is um, has to do again with this offer of working as a team. Perhaps somebody wants to make you their partner, whether it's personal business, friendship. What fulfills you? Weigh your options. And we have the nine of spirals. Let's clarify the nine of spirals, please. The chariot. <laughs> okay, take that action. Movement, move towards success. You're almost there. You're almost there. Move forward. It's an opportunity to move forward. Perhaps this, um, this offer or this partnership is an opportunity for you to move forward and claim victory, <laughs> have success, create that success. Let's clarify some more. Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Use your intelligence, strategize as you take action and move forward. Don't let anything sneak up on you, be aware. And the Ten of Pentacles, abundant success. This isn't just financial abundance. This is family, home, um, and the stability, the financial abundance. This could be a very lucrative opportunity for you, a very secure opportunity for you. Weigh your options. Hold your ground and be true to yourself. Um, you know what you need uh, to feel fulfilled. Weigh your options.
strategize and take action toward that success. We have this Four of Scrolls down here that is a, a time out. It's a time of rest, a time of, of reflection, um, contemplation, thinking things through, gaining wisdom, understanding, insight, perspective. Let's clarify that. Gaining wisdom, doing the research, gaining the wisdom to move forward in the direction, possibly a new direction, where you want to go, leaving the past behind. Gaining that intellect, moving forward. Out of this scarcity mindset, they look destitute out in the cold, and yet the church window is right there. They have access to help if they need it. If you need help in making a decision in um, any area, seek out that help. Maybe this is a love relationship. Hmm. Wow. Watched over by the angels. Divine, divinely appointed relationship. Hmm. Is there an offer coming in? A passionate offer from a lover. Let's keep going. Wow, the Knight of Wands again. What is that passionate offer? The Knight of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Wands, I mean. There could be some kind of proposal here. Um, perhaps if you're already in your love relationship, perhaps this is a, a passionate new beginning, um, a rekindling of the relationship the passion. I'm going to move on to the wheel here. This wheel of fortune. Allow the flow. Allow things to unfold naturally. The Knight of Cups. Offer coming in. Here he comes riding in with his cup. He doesn't hide his emotions. Perhaps it's your intuition coming in. Let's clarify some more here. Use your intuition. Judgment. Yeah. Use your intuition. Allow for flow. Allow that intuition to come in. Be true to yourself. Honor yourself. Gain the clarity um, on your desires. What do you feel in your heart? What do you know in your heart that you want? Be true to yourself. Honor yourself. And don't worry about what anybody else may think. 
Don't get caught up in mind chatter, worrying, worrying how it's going to turn out, worrying what others might think or feel, worrying about the other people involved to the extent that it hinders you from living your life to the fullest and making decisions based on your own needs, your own desires, based on your heart. Follow your heart. Keep things balanced in your life. Relationships, finances, your emotions, your spiritual life. Keep it balanced. Make sure things are in balance. There's an equal give and take. Energies are re reciprocated. Um, relationships are reciprocal. A new journey, a new opportunity, a new beginning. Are you going to take the leap of faith? Page of Wands. Yep. A message from the heart. Heartfelt. Something coming in that's from the heart. And the King of Pentacles. He is prosperous, confident, strong, courageous. This King is abundant and very secure. Is he the one making the offer? Is he the one bringing in the offer, the messages of passion, bringing in the opportunity? Or perhaps you need to take on the qualities of the King of Pentacles and grab on to those opportunities being presented. Gaining clarity here with the Queen of Scrolls. Wisdom, clarity, intellect. And taking action. Wise action. Honing your craft. Building your abundance, your stability, building your business, whatever it is you're working on, putting the time in, even if it's learning something new, putting that time in. Leaving behind the past, Leaving behind the past. Letting go of what no longer serves. Transforming that energy into something that will serve you. Serve your highest good. Serve the highest good of all. Are there old patterns interfering with... Um, with your t um, taking the opportunity, with making your decisions from your heart for your higher good. Use your heart in making your decisions. Follow your heart. What is your heart telling you? We have this king of spirals. Or the king of wands. He's passionate. And the five of swords. 
winning the victory over those challenging thoughts, ideas, the things that hold you back, the things that get in the way. He has taken the swords so that they cannot be used against him. They can't be used to hold him back any longer. He's won the victory over um, whatever these influences are, these people. He's taken their swords. He is no longer held back. He can move in the direction that he wants now. He has defeated those limiting beliefs, those thoughts of worry, those thoughts of what will people think, or what about this, or what about that. He's conquered it. And the world is his. Lessons learned, success, fulfillment, anything's possible from this point on. Once you conquer that, those thoughts and ideas, those limiting beliefs, those old patterns, the world is yours. Nothing can hold you back. Heal your broken heart. Take the time to heal the wounds. Heal the wounds so you don't miss those opportunities. Take the time. Heal, recover, and move on. Don't miss those opportunities coming in for you. I'm going to take another card. The Ace of Pentacles. Those opportunities being held out to you. Take advantage of those. Do the healing necessary to get past the limiting beliefs, the old patterns, and take hold of those new opportunities. There are opportunities here for you. There's an offer coming in that's from the heart. Be aware. I'm going to pull another oracle in closing. Seek that higher spiritual guidance throughout the next part of the month here. Rely on spiritual guidance. Go, um, get in touch the higher realms. Earth star activation. Anchoring grounded action. Isis energy. Let's see what that has to say. Just not turning. Um, your message for the Earth Star activation. When you draw this card, know your Earth Star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. There is an opportunity for you to rediscover magic too, but stay firmly rooted in all of your endeavors. Let the earth hold and sustain you. Don't rush ahead. In fact, if you've been wondering if it's time to move forward, know that it isn't. Stay put for the time being. 
important information is about to be revealed. So wait and stand strong. This is a time of integration and rest rather than pushing forward. Great wisdom lies within you. Dive deep and find it and trust in yourself. You have more strength than you realize. The Four Scrolls, time for that reflection. Being aware, healing. Let's take a rune. Our rune is Ansys. Um, this is a rune of communication. Wisdom. Look for signs and synchronicities from universe. Again, getting in touch with the spiritual, the higher realms for your guidance. Be open to receiving um, any messages, signs, synchronicities from universe. Watch for them. Thank you so much, Aquarius. That's what I have for you for the uh, end of April, mid-April reading. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe to subscribe. If you wish to be notified of future readings, hit that notification bell. And I welcome all interaction and comments. It helps promote the channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a blessed rest of the month.